for the engine oil, I used uh, Lucas High Performance Motorcycle Oil. It's 10 weight, 10W40. It's full synthetic. It meets all the requirements. It's, uh, like I said, it meets all the, uh, the requirements, the API, SM, SL, SJ, JSO, MA2. That's engine oil. It held a little over two, about two and a half quarts. And then the engine oil filter is the Wix. 51394. They have the 51394 dash something that's a little bit longer that holds that'll hold almost three quarts in engine oil. And then for the front diff and the rear transmission case, I used Castrol Axle Limited Slip SAE 80W90 API GL5. And I bought three of these, and I've got about half of one left over, a little less than half of one. Um, and then for the tools, you're going to need a 14 millimeter Allen head. And then the mine just happens to be half inch, so I got a half inch ratchet. And then you're, that's for the rear trans, transmission case fill plug. And then for the drain plug, it's a 17 millimeter. All this stuff is metric on these machines. You can use 11 16 whatever, but use the metric stuff. And then the engine oil drain is a 14 millimeter. And the front diff. Uh, fill and drain plug is an 8 millimeter Allen head and then for the panel to access the engine oil filter you got to have a, a Phillips head and that's all the tools and the materials that it takes to do it um, video in this and everything it took me about an hour hour and 15 minutes I could have probably done it in about 15 minutes if it was just me out here it's not that hard that's the 20 hour p.m. Um, besides the the valve adjustment there is no First thing you want to do is clean everything off with brake cleaner. Your field plug, around your drain plug. Don't want to get no dirt in these expensive machines. And we're going to put our oil drain tank over here. The front diff, drain hole, and fill hole are both 8mm hex keys or Allen keys. Right here in the front, you got, it almost looks like five dots on a dice. In the middle one, it's the only 8 millimeter Allen key plug. You're just going to pull that out. I start it with my Allen. This thing only holds like 0.45 of a quart. You're going to pull this plug out and let it drain. And then what I typically like to do is go up to the front up to the top where the field plug is and I've already busted it loose but well I thought I did and uh, take it out the way there's plenty of air in there like I said make sure you clean around this field hole this thing was pretty dirty and there's the fill cap. Now if you do what I did and set them both right next to each other, the fill cap has an indention in it. So does the drain cap, but there's a magnet where the drain cap would be. So we're going to let that drain. And a good thing to just check all this for metal and everything. There's going to be some from breaking in. There ain't too much on that. So I'm just going to take some brake cleaner. Don't ever spray your hands with brake cleaner. <laughs> I'm gonna clean that off. Make sure there's no excessive chunks. Which there's not. We're just gonna finish cleaning that off. Leave it setting. And let this drain. Once it's good and done, I'm gonna take my Allen key, my drain plug. Put it back in that hole. Make sure your O-ring is all good and everything. Make sure you don't cross thread it or drop it apparently. That oil all over my hands. Thread it up in there. Alright, hang on. I gotta get torched back. So the filler cap 
is 12 foot pounds and the drain cap is basically the same so I just put 12 foot pounds on that so the plug is in and torqued well, let me get set up Now it holds 0.45 of a quart, which ain't much. I gotta get a knife. So we're gonna take our funnel, put it in there. And then uh, get our axle fluid and slowly pour. I mean, it's it's less than half a quart, so. And that's it. That's to the bottom of the fill plug. So then you're going to take your 8 millimeter Allen key and your fill plug. Check your O-ring on all that. And you're just going to thread it back in. Finger tight and then if you want to put a torque wrench on it Put a torque wrench on it again like i said it's 12 foot pounds it ain't much and that's it for the front diff now we're going to move on to the engine oil yeah. all right so now we're on to the engine oil this is a 14 millimeter it's the only 14 millimeter down here it's in the the big oval hole i wish i didn't have I only have my shallow sockets on me but that's all i got so Bust it loose. Again, it's a 14 millimeter. It's in the big oval hole. We're going to thread it out and let it drain. In the oil container. Let the plug drip off. Again, we're going to check the plug. Make sure there's no crazy metal. We're going to let that drain, then we're going to go up top. Now we're gonna get to the engine oil filter, and these are Phillips head. And you gotta be careful with these little bolts because they'll strip out pretty easily. Make sure you get the right Phillips head. We're gonna take all those out. Should only be, I think, four of them. And then on the bottom, there's two little plastic tabs that slide in should be so we got all four of those out pop the cover off and then we'll try to get in here clean the oil filter off now I'm not going back with a Kawasaki oil filter because they're ridiculous I got an oil filter wrench, and then uh, let me get my 3 8 ratchet with my little extension. I'll try to hold the light. That is on there way too tight from the factory way too tight but anywho you're gonna lose a little bit of oil out of this thing I ain't too worried about it I will clean it off with brake cleaner plus this thing's probably gonna get a bath today all right we're gonna take our new oil filter after we cleaned off the area a little bit and uh, we're gonna thread it on there put a little bit of oil on the new seal we're gonna thread it on their hand tight and then I'm gonna clean my hands off that way I ain't got oil all over them and uh, there was no need for that daggum oil filter to be that tight from the factory but there ain't nothing I can do about it so I'm gonna get it hand tight 
as tight as I physically can with my hand. And then before we fill it up, I'll come back with the oil filter wrench and just give it a little quarter turn. Once I get that off that filter, it's stuck on there because that thing was way too tight. Um, but that's it for the filter. Okay, so the I put the drain plug back in, got the new filter on. The filter is 15 foot-pounds, and it was way more than that to take it off. The drain plug for the engine oil is 37 foot-pounds. We got those both torqued back in. If you can take the plug out, you can take it in. So I didn't video or put it in. I didn't video that part. Then you're going to clean off this area. As you can tell, mine thing is dirty, so I cleaned it off real good. And it holds 2.2 quarts. And supposedly, if you get a bigger filter, there's one that's longer. Um, that hold, it holds, I think 2.5 or 2.6 is what it said, but I just got the normal one. Um, so we're gonna start, be careful not to spill anything. With just one quart. Got one quart on the top of the engine now because I just completely missed, because I poured it the wrong way. So we're going to stop and start over. Pro tip, pour your bottle sideways. That's what they're made for. Like I said, the capacity is 2.2 quarts. I believe with the filter change, but we're going to fill it up with two. Put a little bit more in it. Start it. Kill it. Check it off and on keep doing that until we get it to where I like it um, you're gonna have to buy three quarts regardless so just buy three quarts so there's two and then a little bit that's on the top of the engine and then I'm gonna go with about that much let it set and chill for a minute we're going to put the cap back in it. Then I'm going to reach over here and start it. dipstick covers over here where your battery box and your air filter are. Pop your two latches, get you a clean paper towel, let it settle for the time it takes to take that cover off. And then uh, you're going to pull your engine dipstick out, wipe it off, shove it back in the hole, Pull it back up. We need to add a little bit more. So we're going to put it back in there. Pop the cap back off. And you're just going to go through those motions until you get it full. So we had some camera difficulties, but <clears throat> there's a 17 millimeter hex down here in the bottom. It's the only 17 millimeter down here. That's the drain plug for the transmission and rear drive. And then the top is a 14 millimeter Allen head. Mate, and this was extremely dirty around it, so I had to clean off around it real good. And this plug is whistling clean. And this holds, let's see, transmission case holds 2.1 quarts. So, grab our trusty funnel the shelf and I doubt very seriously we're gonna be able to get that on camera but right down in this hole right down in this hole there's a shelf and that is the, the top of the fill line we're probably not gonna be able to get that on camera but when you take the plug off you'll see it it's kind of common sense of what it is that's hot. And I'm going to start off with a fresh one. That way I know what two quarts is. Cut the top off. My trusty outdoor edge. Nice. And it's the same fluid that we're using on the front. 
maybe. So we're gonna fill this up with two quarts. So mine held right about two quarts and uh, it's to the top of that little shelf. So we're going to check the o-ring on our plug, make sure it's nice and clean. We are going to put that back on. Now it's got the torque specs to all these in your owner's manual. Don't just take my word for it. That's it, that's the 20th hour fluid change.